is a little bit different from ours. They say, Mon Jolie. Oh, Mon Jolie. Mon Jolie. Mon Jolie. So I'm um, yeah. improving my French. Yeah. Uh, and we met uh, some really, really nice people. You met a wonderful lady doing some weaver something. called oh. Louise. Yeah. And the lovely um, handler at um, Mon Jolie was Gilles, and he's quite determined that should we not make it to... Um, Goose Bay today, we're to turn around, go back to Mont Joli and stay with him. Well, we, there's some uncertainty about Goose Bay. It's, um, we've got about two, it's a two and a half hour flight for us there today. Um, we've got a good tailwind at the moment, um, but we're holding Mount Joli as an alternate because there's not a hang of a lot of places up um, around Goose Bay. Um, and uh, they all have the same weather at the moment, which is um, quite low cloud, misty conditions, um, and some light rain. Um, so um, it's all a little bit. Um, uh, we just don't know what we're, you know, how it's going. The the TAF is Did going for a bit of improvement. Bit of improvement yeah, by the yeah. time we get there. So, however. Um, the um, it's well served with instrument approaches. We've got an ILS, we've got G, the RNAV approaches, and the RNAV goes down to uh, uh, 200 um, feet above the aerodrome, 250 feet above the aerodrome height. So um, I think uh, we've got a reasonable chance of getting it. Um, and, and I've got uh, 135 gallons on board today. 135 so. gallons, yeah. 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 So. We do have good reserves, should we require them. Yeah, yeah. It's good smooth flight conditions at the moment. I uh, see we're doing 161 knots ground speed. So um, we've got a, a nice, a handy, as we would say, a handy little tailwind. Yes. And um, we're flying the airways um, up to Goose Bay. Um, and ho we're overnight there tonight. And then tomorrow, uh, go on to um, do Nasarak. The weather tomorrow is quite good, and that's especially good at Nasarak. Hence, it's the um, I guess why we want to try and get to uh, Goose Bay today. There's not much wind at Goose Bay, just um, kind of uh, low stratusy conditions, and. Um, we're not expecting any icing along the way. There's the possibility of some uh, um, thunderstorms. I don't see any evidence ahead. I guess out to the left and right we can see a little bit at the moment. Yet some things we probably wouldn't want to encounter. But looking straight ahead, it's, um, it's pretty good. Um, people have asked often, um, you know, what power settings do we use in the aeroplane? And um, right now, um, we're running at, let me just check it here, we've got a 60% power, which is wide open throttle for us, and uh, 2300 RPM. Is that, that correct? That's correct. Yeah, 2300 RPM. And um, we're running, the, we run the like homing, um, Maximum economy figure, which is peak EGT. Um, that's giving us at the moment um, 315 degrees on the hotter <laughs> cylinder, so it's really the cylinders are very, very cool. And um, I've got a chart, I'll just show it here, which is set up uh, off a computer program for the um, power settings, RPM. And, um, and manifold pressure, and, uh, and that gives us our fuel flow in gallons an hour. Yeah, 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 I know I, I still work in gallons an hour. 
um, haven't converted to litres yet. And my excuse is, is that when Mr Piper built these aeroplanes back in 1962, um, he never used litres or anything metric. It was all um, US gallons and imperial measures. So, uh, well, it served it well. So we stick with that and do the conversions where necessary. Can't see an awful lot. But looking out to the... Um, Further out to the east, off the wheat tip there, there's a few big build-ups going on, but they're a long way from where we are. Thank you, Mr. Roger. And it's probable that we're going to uh, have a wee bit of IFR en route, and um, 